and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Well, I've got my setup down there working. We'll take a peek at that in a second. I want to get some material to start actually crafting some of this stuff. So we are going to need a casting basin. This casting basin is a 5x3x5. Five by by five. So we need 20, we need, it says this is 75 of these, so it's 15 clicks. Just like that. Blast furnace, we definitely need one of these. We actually need more than one of these. Uh, the casting basin can actually um, account for four of these. It produces ores just that fast so this is a seven by three by by three and so with this is nine and so three by three is nine so we need seven clicks of this I think that's gonna be good let's get um, let's get uh, a few of these 16 come out Jesus DJ's getting a little little crazy with the costs associated here I mean why is 16 pipe going into one pipe I don't know but anyway so let's look at power down there I definitely want a geothermal um, these things are really expensive um, the power thermal generator cost is really high. I mean, it it uses 960 pyrothermic generators to make one of these things, and uh, it, it's a lot of uh, tin and iron. Now those those two, those are like tier one materials, so it shouldn't be too bad of a problem. But wow, it it consumes so much, th thousands. So let's, uh, I need uh, 15 of these as well, I believe. There we go. I already have power storage for down there. Uh, the ca blasting furnaces actually consume quite a lot of power. Um, yeah, I had this, all this tin was full. I had to actually collect all the tin that was in here just to finish building that thing. Um, let's look at uh, grabbing some more of that heat conducting pipe. I'm definitely going to need some of that. Um, here it is right here. It uses crystal, copper pipe, and um, plastic pellets. So I want all the heat conducting pipe I've got so far. There we go. And that will sit in craft while we go do other awesome fun things. Let's head back. The quarry, the quarry I have is on pause right now, which is fine. I, I'm i uh, using the power elsewhere, essentially. And besides, it hit a huge gold vein again, and you can see I've got 13,500 gold on me. I'm not too needing of gold right now. So there's my gold line all packed up down there. And it's all backed up here. So there's probably a huge gold gold vein that it hits. It's it's really deep now. Um, it really chewed through a lot of a lot of ground really fast. I was kind of surprised at how fast it went, but then again this, this quarry kind of sat idle for a while, only feeding off of solar power. Uh, and that other one I've been pretty much powering nonstop. So here we are. As you can see, we are now waiting for the material uh, to come up. I'll quickly run down, see how it, I got to ride a couple lifts, but uh, I'll go down and show. I went ahead and, and avoided the tube system. Um, I, it would have just taken a an absolute gross amount of tubes in order to move uh, as much material as I could. So I went ahead and went the matter mover route and it's actually 
worked out pretty well. Uh, I did discover that there's a potential bug with the upgraded matter movers. They're supposed to move more than one thing at a time. So the duels, obviously, like two at a time, quads or four at a time. But in looking at them, it looks like they only move one at a time. So I went ahead and put a forum post up and hopefully DJ will take a look at that. So you can see the power network that I've got here. I've got the Mark III or Mark IV battery here as sort of the master. Um, this is capable of receiving 10,000 power per second via the conduit. And then from there, I've branched off the uh, laser. I've got nine of them going right now, which a little higher than a thousand at a time. So nine of them actually works out pretty well to be exactly 10,000. So you got a bunch of power going here. So basically we've got the, this is the quad beams it into here. It splits off into two duels. This just then beams into here then two duels right into there. So when the, the, when the cargo lift hits, it'll pull these two and these will instantly start beaming all from all of the hoppers down the line into here. Um, and it can fill up pretty fast. It has a thousand capacity. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, hoppers just waiting, ready to go. And then another, you know, few hundred inside the trencher itself. So it, it works out pretty well. Same deal over here, beaming power in, beaming everything back out, moves it along really fast. It'll be even faster if they moved more than one item, but hopefully that will get fixed. So let's go back up and kind of try to set up a system here and and be a little smarter about it. So I need I don't need the casting pipe yet. I'm going to want the blast furnace casting basin. Yeah, one more lift. Blast furnace casting basin geothermal and we don't need the resin ping right now so I want power storage because essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the geothermals under the floor put the power storage on top of them and put the blasting furnaces on either side so that way I can actually put four geothermals around the same blasting for an or around the same battery okay so we've got some space here we've got a lot more space in this direction than in this direction i should have worked that out a little bit better but here we've got all of the hoppers and these i'm actually going to use tubes um, i don't really see a need to not use them but as i'm gonna basically have four um, blast furnaces on either side of here all feeding into a casting basin over here so if I have the blast furnaces here the blast furnaces are are kind of smallish um, as far as their footprint goes so if I put one here I've, I've only got one but I've, I can expand I can always carve out more space that's not an issue i just want to use what i've got here and this is going to be inventory full it doesn't tell me actually what the inventory is full of so let's see if i have it right here and this is seven high two three four five six seven There it is. Temporary graphics for now. Yes, it looks like a big battery, but I assure, I assure you it is not. It is actually 
Um, the blasting furnace. Um, it has pipes connections. No attached hoppers or mass storage found, so we are definitely, definitely going to need to hook this up. But first, we want to get some power going. So let's carve out a hole. And the generator, the geothermal, is, I believe, um, oh, we got a little air with the help on that but the geothermal is five by three by i think that's in the center three four five there we go it's three tall five by five on each side I think that is one too wide. Give me those back. Okay, this should build it. Fill that in really quick. And one more should finish it. On top of this, I want a Mark 5 battery. So I think these are, I think these are, yeah, I think I broke the help. Um, I think these are nine tall. Five by five, nine meters tall. Yep, nine meters. So let's go ahead and that's this page, I think. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are massive batteries. Very expensive batteries. It takes five, basically five Mark IVs to make one of these. Just like that. And it won't generate any power yet. Um, that will have to come from, that's why I wanted so many, so many uh, heat conducting pipes is I needed to hook them up. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine is how is how many I want to try to put in there. So this will now be digging down. It should be anyway. Let's see. Can't locate pipes in adjacent storage hoppers. It's got to find them. This gives us a couple minutes to figure it out. Hopefully it will update. I mean, I attach storage hoppers to you. Heat conducting pipes. Do you need, you need some power maybe? Um, let's maybe feed him a little bit of power. I don't think he wants power. Are you temperature differential? It's not reporting anything. It is taking pipes out of there. But it's not reporting how deep it is. So that's a bug. Okay. So we should be now filling up that tier 5 battery. I mean, it's very slow right now. But that battery should start to get some charge. Yep, that's getting some charge. That blast furnace has plenty of power now. 
So the other thing we want to do is feed the blast furnace some of this material as well as get ready for our casting basin. So that's the only other item on the list here that we have to build. And I think this was also a three by three or no, a five by five by three. And if we have more casting basins going along that side, I want to leave enough room for some pipes. But for now, let's uh, center this. Let's put this kind of on this right here. Uh, let's go one more. Oh, darn it. I hate when I do that. I really hate when I do that. Let's put one right here. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. And then finish it off. And let's see here. And there it is. And we got a whole bunch of NREs. So, I mean, this stuff was just added to the game. So I'm not, I'm not too surprised that there are some problems. I'm really not. Um, it is very hard to, to get stuff you know, immediately working. Okay. Just like that. So, casting basin, blast furnace, now, now knows that it's hooked up to it. And now it just needs material. So, let's hook up just a little bit of material here. And it needs quite a bit of resources, uh, raw material, to actually <clears throat> you know, kick everything off. Let me get rid of some of this just really bright blue light here. So yeah, this has four hookups on it. And I think it needs power. It does not reporting it needs power, but I do think it needs some power. Not quite sure how much. So let's uh, grab one more here. Oh, geez. I wanted to click the pipe. Okay. So, do we have any ingots yet? Oh, it's crafting them. It just crafted an ingot. Bingo, right there. Chromium. Excellent. So, we are on the road to the tier four, to just maximizing tier four. And these, I wanna come out one more, uh, and one more, no, right there. And I want you to go down. Maximize the output of all of those. And that should really fill up fast and be able to craft pretty fast. We already got two in there. So yeah, you hook four of these casting basins up to this thing and it will, it will just craft so fast. So not too worried about that. I do need to craft a whole nother set of all of this stuff for that side. So that is going to be a challenge because I used 
so many of my resources just to craft this that it's going to take a crazy amount. I'm not sure if this actually uses any power. Not 100% sure. So yeah, but that'll do it for this episode. So I uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.